Hi, I'm Dr. Dylan Marsh. I'm one of the toxicologists here at Oz Health. And I'm Dr. John Edwards. I'm the senior toxicologist at Oz Health. And today we're going to talk about one of the most common topics that we see on the internet. Can you beat a standard drug test? The short answer is no, and here's why. There are two main types of drug tests that we can perform. There's a screening test, which is done initially, and if this is non-negative, it's followed up by a confirmation test. The initial test is an immunological test, which means that it detects structures that look like drugs in any of the specimens that are collected. And this can be oral fluid or urine. The initial test then can have some interferences, which could be related to diet, to other materials, or to other drugs which are taken. If we see these types of responses, this will be a non-negative result Result and the test must be confirmed. If the test is negative, workers are free to go back to their duties. So in the event of a non-negative drug test, the sample will be sent to the laboratory for further analysis. Now, unlike on-site testing, the laboratory confirmation is very specific to particular drugs specified in the Australian standard. It's akin to a fingerprint of a drug. It's not as general and it's not prone to errors. The internet is full of strategies and ideas for how to defeat a drug test. They suggest that you might consume something like apple cider vinegar, or pectin or jam setter, which will try to then interfere with the test so it gives a negative result. While this might be true if you take it immediately before a test, all of our procedures take this into account and we can easily detect whether someone is trying to defeat a drug test. So you may have seen on the internet that perhaps you can just simply drink enough water and therefore dilute your sample, which will give you a negative result. Unfortunately, this isn't much of a workaround at all because we can detect that on site. So not only do we have the test panel at the top here, we also have our integrity checks down the bottom. And that includes standard urine components such as creatinine, specific gravity, but also adulterants such as nitrites, bleach, oxidants, and things of that nature. In addition, when we collect a specimen in a cup, there is a temperature indicator on the cup to demonstrate whether or not the specimen has just recently been provided. So if you add things into this, into this cup, uh, it will alter the temperature and you'll be required to provide another specimen. There are also products available online such as synthetic urine for the purpose of avoiding a drug test. However, we have ways and means of detecting hu uh, human urine versus synthetic urine and we can differentiate between the two. As for urine testing, you may think that drinking a lot of water might dilute your urine and therefore the drugs won't be detectable, but we can and will detect dilute samples both on site and in the laboratory and you'll be subject to a retest. So, in short, you can't beat a drug test. The best way to avoid a non-negative and a confirmed positive drug test is to not take drugs in the first place. If you have any questions about drug testing, such as how long a drug might persist in the body, uh, or what type of tests are available, what type of information is provided, please leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.